Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you with another video. This is what we're here to discuss today. Every time you level up, the enemy has to devil up because there's always a new player to defeat in this game called life. Every time you get to another level, there's always somebody in the corner. Who's this? Who's that person? How did they get here? I thought it was just me. I didn't know somebody like him or somebody like her could reach this level. And then now they want to figure you out. They want to know how you got here, why you're there, what do you do. And then when you don't go and tell these people all your information, when you don't go kiss their behind, when you don't, you know, divulge your whole life story to them, then they're going to feel some type of way about you. They're going to feel that you think you're better. So every time you level up, and that's just that's just one instance. Every time you level up, enemy has to send somebody because you just defeated everything that they already previously sent at you prior. So it's like they can't let you, the enemy just can't let you have it that easy. Because there's always a test in life. There's always tests in life. So no matter where you get to, there's always going to be another test. And there's always going to be another hater. <clears throat> there's always going to be somebody in the corner. There's always going to be somebody off in the corner staring, watching. Minding your business. Worried about how you got there. Instead of just focusing on themselves. So the one thing that you got to remember is this. It's all a test. Okay. It's all a test. Job got tested. Okay. Joseph got tested. Noah got tested. Jesus got tested. Everybody in the Bible got tested. It's, it's nothing but tests in the Bible. And you being a, a, you being a chosen vessel. You being a, a chosen one from God. It's going to be plenty of tests for you, too, because to whom much is given, much is required. So it's going to be a lot of things that are required of you more than the average person. Yeah, it's going to seem like everybody else has it easy. Yeah, it's going to seem like people could get away with murder, but not you, because God has his hand on you. And God also gave you his blessing. OK, he also gave you the anointing he also gave you the christ consciousness all right he also gave you a um a higher level of intellect you know you had your empath you have s s like superhuman abilities almost it's certain things that are special about you more special about you than the average person so to to whom much is given much is required so there's going to be a lot more that you are dealt with because you have a lot more to offer. You have a lot more to give. You have a lot more to do. And you also have a lot more on your plate. But the reward is going to be greater as well. That's why you keep leveling up. Each test is a, a, a practice for the next test. So as you keep leveling up, as you keep getting to the next place, getting to the next level, that last string of things all the, all that stuff you just got done going through all that stuff you went through prior was to mold you and make you that much better for the things to come and it's not a bad thing because you're supposed to fight for what you want you're supposed to if you're going to struggle struggle for what you want struggle to get what you're going towards you know struggle to get what you desire struggle struggle to get what you want out of life don't just struggle just to be struggling and just to complain about it and be like, oh, I'm struggling. Okay. Because you don't want to just end up staying on the same level of life for eternity or for an eternity. So it is what it is. Accept it. New level, new devils. You're going to have people that are going to try to uh, do what the last people did to you at the last level. But it's going to be different. There's more to lose now. Okay, it's a different game. 
last time that was just that was just small stuff. Now this time, this time around, oh, you got blessed even more. So the more you get blessed, the more is gonna be that comes with it. So the more you get blessed, the more greater people are going to try you, okay? Because they're going to see what God is doing for you in your life. They're going to see God's hand on you in your life, all right? They're going to be able to tell that you're blessed, that is something special about you, and that's what got you here, okay? They're going to be able to tell, ah, oh, I see you. See, they got here. They might have known someone. They may have a connection, okay? They may have studied real, real hard. All right, this is why people be mad at y'all. This is why people be mad at us. People either have a connection. That's either how they level up. People really worked really, really hard. You know, they may not even be smart like that. They may have just worked really, really hard. And, you know, sometimes people are smart. But the thing about us is this. We have God, okay? That's our connection. You know, they, they know this person. They know that person. They're set. We have God and we know God, so we're set, okay? We don't have the same connections everybody else does, but we don't need them because God is our connection. God's going to connect us. Even the birds want to listen. God's going to connect us to where we need to go. God's going to connect us with who we need to meet. So we don't, ha we don't have the same connections as everybody else. So when these people get to where it is they're trying to go, and then they see us get there, and we don't know any of the people that they knew, but the people that they know end up starting to like us, maybe even more than them. It's because we have favor over our life. God put something in us to where we offer something different, something a little bit, a little bit more special. Okay, we got something called the it factor. Okay, we got the it factor. We walk into buildings. Everybody wants to go in that building right after we did. There was nobody there five, ten minutes ago. As soon as we walk in, boom. I done walk into places that was dead. I went to go buy some food. As soon as I went in there, everybody went in there. Told them they should put, made a joke with them. Told them they should put my face on in front of the, the building and cut me 50% of the profit. They said, ha, ha, ha. They thought that was funny. I was dead serious. But it's because of that. Like, you'll go to, you'll go to a new opportunity. You'll have something new going on. And then people will be messing with you more than the people that have already been there. People will like you more than the people that have been there for so and so plus years. You just got there. You just leveled up. And now, unfortunately, that place is now deviled up because the people that are there are like, yo, how did this person get here? And it's like people don't understand you worked hard like them. Just like everybody else, but you, you prayed for this, you know, and it's like, what's the matter? What's the difference between me and you? You worked for it. I worked for it. You knew somebody. I didn't know anybody, and I still made it. I still made it. Why did I make it? How did I make it? They shouldn't be worried about that, but if they must know, it's because of God, man. God helps us out. So it's like, yes, there's a new level. Yes, there's a new devil. But all we have to do is just level up with God. All we have to do is God up more, okay? They, they, they devil up, we God up, you know? And the thing about the devil is this. It's the same games, it's the same things with just different people, different places, and different faces. So all we have to do is just do the same thing. Make sure that we continue to work on ourselves. Make sure we continue to make ourselves better. Make sure we continue to keep improving us and make sure that we know it's them. It's not us. They have the problem. Why? Because they are the devil. All right? You know, you, you can't be doing negative things and devilish things and trying to sabotage people and make people miss out on opportunities. That's evil. That's of the devil. So it's like if they're the devil, you just got to just call spade a spade. They are the devil. All right? They, they got devilish tendencies. You can see what side they're on. So you just know what side you're on, and you just know the side that you're on can't lose. You just know the side you're on can't be defeated. It's a new level. It's a new devil. But we we already uh, beat the uh, devils on the last level. 
you know, so if you remember when you played a video game, it was just the same thing. All they had was just a few new tricks. All they had, they, they might have been able to hop on you before. Now this time they can hop on you and throw a fiery disc at you. They don't have no more new, they, they, they really don't have any more tricks other than manipulation. Trying to frustrate you, trying to get you upset, trying to get you angry, and trying to get you out of your position. Trying to get you up out the organization. Trying to get you to lose what you already had. So yeah, it's a new, it's a new devil on that new level. But just know that you made it to that new level and everything that got you there, everything that you made it, everything that it took to make it there, just know that you could use all of those same faculties to help you keep and help you keep going forward, to help you keep moving forward and help you uh, maintain what you already have. Because it's, they're not slick. They're not that smart. Only thing they all, all they try to do is frustrate you, manipulate you, and try to get you upset and angry. All we have to do is keep working on ourselves and make sure our moods are right. You, we make sure our moods are right. Them new devils is going to be just like the last devils. We have to monitor how we feel. We got to make sure that we're not ready to snap, you know, because that's one thing you know they're going to try to do is they're going to try to make you snap. They're going to try to make you snap, get you kicked up out of there, get you thrown out the place, get you get get you kicked out, get you fired, get you, you know what I'm saying, get you thrown out the event. Make you look like the crazy person. Make you look like the bad person. All the while, this per they they were the bad person the whole time. They don't even know what you know. They can't even bring what you to the table. What you bring to the table, they're just a face and a name. All the while, you had the real skills because that's what God blessed you with. You were gonna bring so much to the organization, but because of that one person. You know, and you don't want to be too, you don't want to be that person that gets taken out by that one person. You don't want to be looking back at your situation and be like, oh, man, this devil right here, this devil got me like, oh, man, these devils got me, man. Like you remember all them times that the devils got you, got you thrown out, got you thrown out, got you kicked out, got you replaced. <laughs> and then you sitting back like, man, if only I didn't react, I'd still be here, there and everywhere. So don't let them get to you. They're weak people. They're weak-minded people. All they're going to do is just turn up, okay? The last devil might have been a little slower. He might have tried you maybe uh, uh, one time, five days a week. This new devil may be, be able to hit you two times every day of the week. It's the same thing. He's just doing it more often. He's just He just might be doing it a little more hard. She just might be doing it a little bit more meaner. But if you maintain the right attitude... They can't get you up out of your blessing. They can't take your blessing from you. Anytime you ever messed up, anytime you ever gave anything up, it was your attitude. You didn't maintain the right attitude. These people got you in a messed up mood. That's why I said earlier, if you maintain your mood, right? Maintain your mood. Maintain your attitude. Maintain the right attitude. If somebody is doing if somebody is, is if they're not spitting on you, if they're not putting their finger in your face, if you can't smell their breath, okay, if they're sitting up, if they're sitting across from you or across the room or even if they're in your vicinity, who cares what they're saying? They're not putting their hands on you. They're not spitting on you. They're not about to hurt you. They're not even if they're threatening you. Who cares? All right, let them make a fool of themselves. You sit there, look at them. Don't say anything. Don't respond. Don't let them see you sweat. Just look at them up and down like the crazy fool they are. And after a while, they're going to get angrier because what they're trying to do is not affecting you and it's not bothering them. So they're trying to transfer all that. But when all that is built up in them and it stays in them, they're going to get even more angrier. They're going to freak out even more. They're going to look more crazy, look more stupid. And then the more chill you look, it's going to make you look like a boss. It's going to make you look like a king. It's going to make you look like a queen, sis. It's gonna make you look like you gonna stand there looking like the queen you are. They might, they might buy, go buy out a, a crown for you after work, put it on your head, say, "Baby girl, you deserve it," because it's like you withstood. And they know these people are like that. They know these people are like that. And and but the thing is, they they're well off in the company, or they kiss a lot of butt, or you know what I mean. They they uh ride a lot of coattails. And they they do whatever the, the people want them to do. And you'll find that these people don't even like them like that. That's why they constantly got to go after the new people. That's why they constantly have to go after the next person. Because the managers, the owners don't even like them like that. That's why they have to constantly get people out of there and constantly try to make people look bad. 
because they're they're bad news and they have to make everybody else out to be that so they so they make themselves look good all right so don't let these people sabotage you maintain your attitude stay calm stay calm in jesus name okay use the use the power of god use the power of your mind okay use the god in you use the jesus in you to not let these people get to you i know it's hard i know it's difficult but it's good i mean it, it, it's it's good to maintain your attitude and how you do that is you just you stay calm don't accept their bs all right so immediately hop on it like look at this fool trying to upset me we are not uh, uh, not me to not me not today we're not going there i'm not allowing this person to take me there even if you have to say that to yourself a thousand times to yourself i'm not letting this person take me there i'm not letting them take me there i'm not letting them take me there i'm not i'm not letting them take me there i'm not letting them take me there i'm not gonna let i'm not gonna let them take me there i'm not letting them take me there i'm not letting them take me there nope i'm not letting them take me there and when you focus on that instead of them and what they're trying to throw at you it eliminate it. It'll destroy it. It'll get it out the way, and you'll be able to maintain your blessing because that's what it's all about: maintaining your blessing. All right, it's new devils on new levels, and they don't want y'all to keep what y'all got. All right, these new somebody out there just got something brand new. Somebody out there just got something nice and shiny and wonderful and amazing. And this message is for you. If you watch this video all the way up until this point, you are a real chosen vessel. I'm trying to tell you, and this message is for you. They're not going to be able to take from you what you just got. Nobody's going to be able to take anything from you ever again if you focus on you and don't worry about the other person. All right, I'm telling you, this person could be a whole monkey. This person could be a whole jackass. Okay, that's in the Bible. I'm not cursing. The word ass is in the Bible. This person could be a jackass. But if you don't let that jackass get to you, if you don't let them get underneath your skin, if you don't let it affect you and you keep your cool, you keep your poise, maintain the right attitude keep a positive attitude all right you keep your ad you keep your attitude to yourself all right don't let don't let these people get uh get to your feelings all right you tell yourself just tell yourself to calm down because what you could do is you could tell yourself how to react to their to their uh bs just tell yourself like yourself calm down self chill out all right i'm not going to react to that i'm going to stay calm with when, when they do that you could uh I'm tell yourself I'm gonna stay calm when they try to act like a, a a monkey, when they try to act like a a, a bozo. Even before you go to work, even before you uh, see this person, if you know you have to see this person, pray prior before you even before you even uh, meet them, wherever you're gonna meet them at, or pray before you even see them. All right, that'll weaken that'll weaken of their uh, their blows and everything, because the devil wants to make you go backwards. You worked hard. You just got yourself a new position. You just got yourself a new job. You just made a, a, an improvement in your life. You just uh, made a step forward in life. And the devil will use people to try to make you go backwards. You don't want anybody to. Ha uh, you don't want anybody making you go backwards, and you don't want to give anybody the power to make you go backwards. All right. All they're trying to do is see how they could get you to react to what it is they're trying to do. They have no power. All they want to do is make see if they could get in your head, get you to be frustrated and react. They could they can only win if you're in a bad mood. All right, they try to get you when you're in a bad mood. They see you're upset already. They know they say, "Oh, he's already upset about something. She's already upset about something. Let me try her." That's what they're trying you. They're literally trying. They're trying to make you upset, trying to make you frustrated, trying to make you quit, lose your job, get angry, freak out. Uh um, what's the word I'm looking for? Explode on them. All right. So, so they make you look like the bad one. And so you lose the new opportunity you just got. And we don't want that for ourselves. And that's not going to happen. So we're going to pray that we keep our every day. All right. We, we're going to die. Don't let nobody be able to take this opportunity from me. If it's meant for me, if these people that are trying me, let them fail. And say that prayer every day. God, these people that are trying me, let them fail. Let them fail, God. These people that are trying me, let them fail. Let them fail miserably. Let them fail terribly. Say that prayer every morning. Just It's a simple, small, easy prayer like that. All right, God is simple. You don't have to have no long, drawn-out prayer if you don't want to, okay? Sometimes you need to because depending on how, where that person is trying to take you, you may need a longer prayer to keep you from going there, if that makes sense. I know you holler if you hear me. Hallelujah. All right?
but just a little something simple, something easy. God, they're trying to frustrate me, let them fail. God, they're trying to take my job from me, let them fail. God, I see myself keeping this job. I see them failing. And that's the thing, a lot of a lot of other times, if you if if things have happened to you prior when you have a new experience, sometimes your mind likes to envision what has already happened. So what you may have to do is let go of what has already happened. If, if, if somebody uh, frustrated you out of a job, if somebody frustrated you out of a situation, somebody uh, got you out of character and made you look bad, see yourself, right? See them trying. To, no, you know what? Yeah, go back to that situation in your mind where they did that to you, where they frustrated you, where they made you upset. See yourself handling that situation how you would have liked to handle it. See yourself handling that situation in a calm state, okay, with a positive attitude, with a, a calm like mind. All right, see yourself calmly talking to them. Don't see your, they're raising their voice. You don't see yourself raising your voice. You see yourself being super Zen mode, okay? You, you're, the, you're the Zen master when people try to upset you or frustrate you. And, that, and that's what you can literally do. You can envision yourself as somebody that's like this, somebody that's calm, somebody that's relaxed. Uh, hey, I don't have anything to do with that. I'm not, I'm not being involved with that. It's the last thing that I have to say about it. I'm walking away. And you can handle it just like that. Now I'm saying it's not just if they try to go toe to toe, by all means, defend yourself. That's not the time to be uh, super zen mode during those times. But when the person is just trying to make you lose out on your situation, when they're trying to make you trip, when they're trying to frustrate you, make you lose your cool, see yourself being as cool as possible. And then you, you could do this every day. If you're somebody that gets upset, if you're somebody that gets uh, ang has uh, anger issues that they're correcting and you see people trying to use that against you, what you could do is use it as a meditation practice prior. Any type of situation, any type of aggravation, any type of frustration that you may see yourself having, see yourself not having them. All right, pre-program your mind. When for things that you've been mad or upset about in the past, see yourself as not being upset or angry about them anymore. You can even go back and redo those if you want. All the things that you've been upset about. If you handled the situation in a way where you didn't want to, go back in your mind, redo it, and handle the situation. See yourself handling it how you would like to handle it. Mm, sorry, y'all. And that will improve. That will help you improve how you handle the situation for the next time. So that way these people can't keep getting getting your goat. These people can't keep making you lose your cool. These people can't keep uh, taking you out of the game when it's a new um, when it's a new uh, devil on a new level. All right, because they hate to see you make it. They hate to see you uh, take it uh, from the bottom. Now you're here. They don't want you here. They don't want you leveling up. They can't even focus on themselves. They're so worried about you. And they just don't want to see you with anything because when you level up, you're going to move to the next level. All right? That's why they don't want you here because they're not, he's not going to be here along with us. People just have a weird mindset about wanting other people to be suffering with them. Like, if you're not going to suffer with me, you're not my friend. So when people see you level up and they see you have a spirit in you that you're, that's, not your, that's not your ceiling, you just going to use that as another platform. He's going to use that as another plateau. People feel some type of way about that because I've been here for this long. I haven't been able to level up. I can't level up. This person got here and they about to be the man. Look like they about to be the manager. They only been here for a week. She's only been here for two days and she already got a, uh, she already got a gold star. What's up with that? I've been here a month. I haven't got one yet. People feel some type of way about that. All right. And once 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 they see that you're just low key and you're about yourself and you're about your business and, and you haven't sold your soul to that job, all you have is what you have to offer. And that's it. And they respect you for that alone. And you don't kiss no butt and you don't try to get in the club. And all you try to do, man, I'm just going to do me, do this, be out. That's it. And they still mess with you more than the other people, man. And people going to be sick. And you have you have to understand that. So guard, guard yourself, guard your information you be polite hi how are you you know talk about the game or talk about the weather or talk about uh how how good of a job they did okay yeah yes these people up you know you look nice today I, I like your style you have a very nice style all right that'll help them 
get you off, uh, get them off your back, give them compliments, tell them how good they look, tell them how good they are. It may make you sick to your stomach, but it may save you from them trying to get on your nerves. And if that don't work, then just no contact, don't deal with them because you ain't no, you ain't no butt kisser. So if the compliments don't work, if they're not falling for that, if they're not uh, sl that slow to be like, oh, he's all right, she's all right, after you, you know, inflate their ego a little bit because that's what they really want. They want you to inflate their ego. If, they're, if they are just looking for that and you inflate their ego and they back off, you got a winner. All right, you cool. You know, you just got to talk, chop it up with this person every once in a while and then you can go about your business. But for the people that are out for blood, the people that just want you gone, the people who feel you are a major threat because they feel you're going to, you, they like, they feel that you're going to try to take the manager position that you don't even want. You're just there to do your job. You're just there to because you, you really want to start your own business. You really want to be successful out of work. You're really just working so you could maintain and take care of yourself until you become major successful and so successful to where you don't even need a job. But the thing is, you're so successful that when you actually get on the job, people with the higher positions are worried and scared and insecure and thinking that you're out for their position when really all you're doing is just pre presenting yourself the best way so you can just keep your job <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're trying to keep your job they think you're trying to take their job you're doing a good job merely for you so you can just get your paycheck go home and work on your business and keep coming back and get that check every week or every two weeks but them in their mind <laughs> because they sold their soul to the company and you know they they want they they, they wear the uh company shirt on the weekends you know i'm talking about them type of co-workers i'm talking about the people who they never off then people don't never clock out, okay? They got the work shirt on on the weekend. We talking about them, okay? Those people. Those people feel some type of way because it's like you don't do as much as they do and you still level up. But it's because of God. It's because of what you know. It's because of your blessing, your anointing, okay? The calling God has on your life, okay? You, you, it, was, it was just time for you to be in that spot. If they were figuring out what they wanted to do and, 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 and going after their calling on their life, miracles and good things will be happening for them too. But the thing is, they're so worried about who's leveling up and who's getting ahead, they can't focus on themselves and what they need to be doing to level up and get ahead. They're too busy looking at you and what you're doing, how she getting ahead, how she leveling up. And then their horns go up and their skin turn red. And they, they they turn green with envy, looking like looking like it's Christmas time or something. I don't know what's what they can't make up their mind. Red, green, what? You know, they they, they turn red because they their horns pop up and they get green with envy. Okay, these people just they just can't let you be because you got too much going on. You're chosen, successful, handsome, beautiful. If you're a female, you know, pretty. They can't take that. She got all her stuff together and she on point with her life and her business and her job. They like people will literally just be analyzing you. All that time they could be praying to God for a better life. All that time they could be praying to God to level up themselves. But no, they too down low. They got too much devil in them. And the devil can't stand to see you level up. The devil can't stand to see you get ahead. He can't do it. It's one thing that he can't take because you're uh, you're getting your good, and that's what he wants to take from you. Because when you're getting your good, you're obeying God. You're doing the right thing. All right. There's nothing that um, is going to make you veer off from that. The devil tried to stop you. They tried to make you do negative things. They tried to get you to set people up. Tried to get you to uh, take people's opportunity. Tried to get you to uh, be corrupt. You know, try to get you to do something negative, and you didn't go with that. You said, you know what? I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm believing God. I'm going um, to I'm gonna do this the right way. I'm going to do this the, the, the righteous way, and I'm going to make sure that God is happy with how I handle the situation. I'm going to make sure that at the end of the day, I can sleep at night. I'm going to make sure that I don't take anybody's, uh, I don't take anybody's position just trying to get a position. I'm going to make sure I work for my position. I'm not going to be a snake. I'm not going to be dirty. I'm not going to try to make anybody lose their job. I'm not going to make anybody um, frustrated or, or try to make anybody flip out or freak out or be uncomfortable just because they're trying to uh, level up in life. Like there's normal people in life that are comfortable because other people are winning and it motivates them. And then there's people in life who are threatened because other people want to get ahead 
they're so egotistical and narcissistic that they think you're coming after what they want. Like they see you as a threat. They see you as competition. All you're trying to do is level up and do the best you can and make the best out of yourself for your own life. You really don't even focus on them. You're really not even thinking about them. You're really not even concerned with them. But the thing is, everybody kisses their butt. Everybody's uh, so blown back and drawn away and, and interested and invested in that type of person that when you come around and you don't show them the same interest, you're not uh, going crazy over this person just from them being there and other people see that and you're, and you're uh, new and you're new too, it's going to be a huge issue because people have already been there. They're going to want some type of uh, uh, unrealistic respect. All right, people, they want you to respect them like you respect the manager just because they've been there. They ain't no dang manager. All right, they ain't no manager, but they want you to respect them like it. So when you don't, and, and they just a worker just like you, they want you to respect them like better than yourself or better than a worker just like you because they've been there wearing the same shirt in the same position, doing the same thing, making the same money. But they want you to treat them like they're the manager. These people got like issues, man. There's really something wrong with them. Why would you treat them like a manager? Like, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I know y'all done experienced some of these kinds of people. And it's like you leveled up, you just got there, and here they are. Want, wanting wanting um, some type of credit that they didn't even deserve. All right? So, I mean, we just ignore people like that. Just ignore them because it's going, it's going to kill them. It, 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 it's like not watering a plant. All right? They need water. You are the water, chosen one. You are the water, and the plant needs water. You don't water the plant, the plant's going to die. Don't water them. All right, don't give them any life. Don't water them with your attention. Don't water them with your anger. Don't water them with your frustration. They're trying to make you sweat. Keep your sweat to yourself. All right, let these plants shrivel up and die. All right, let these plants shrivel up and die, just like they deserve to do trying to take your good trying to wipe you out trying to take your good that god gave you that you worked for that you earned just like everybody else but because you're you you believe in god and they see something special in you that they don't see in themselves they want to take it from you but god said no because they can't have it because now you're aware of what they're trying to do and they're not going to be successful because you've leveled not only have you leveled up in life physically but you've also leveled up mentally and spiritually all right and now you're more equipped more ready for battle more ready for war more ready to, to fight okay and all you have, and what you realize now is you're not fighting anything on the outside you're fighting everything that's on the inside so keep working on you and no matter what they try to do if you can remain at peace with yourself if you can maintain your attitude no matter even if it's a new level or a new devil you just keep leveling up and all these devils will fall to the wayside i want to thank you for watching this video it's been another drew tube special shout out to the chosen vessels i'll see everybody in the next video hit that share button leave a comment and hit that like button because it helps the video get through the algorithm and it lets everybody um Get a chance to watch the video who hasn't subscribed so they can subscribe and get uh, get a little bit of more of this positive content out to the world. So I want to thank everybody. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.